When I walk through this door, I will be just another regular 15-year-old girl. If you've been binging Liv and Maddie on Disney+, Plus, you might be wondering what some of your favorite stars are up to. We'll let you know who's still single, who's dating, and who can't wait to get married. We'll also talk about the bad breakup between Dove Cameron and Ryan McCartan, and let you know how they've managed to move on. This is really nice. Yeah. There was a time when we thought co-stars Dove Cameron and Ryan McCartan were going to go the distance together. They met on the set of Liv and Maddie, and before we knew it, they were going public with their relationship. These two were always raving about their relationship in interviews and on social media. When they got engaged, it seemed too good to be true. And apparently, it was. It's really romantic, you know, to perform with the love of your life. Less than a year after Ryan proposed, the two suddenly called off their relationship. Ryan made it seem as though Dove was the one to end things, while she asserted that he had been terrible to her. But now, Dove is in a new relationship and believes this one could lead to marriage. She and Thomas Doherty met while working on Descendants 2 and officially confirmed their relationship in 2017. Since then, Dove has called him the most incredible person she's ever met, and she can see herself spending the rest of her life with him. In addition to acting, Dove has pursued a music career following the conclusion of Live and Maddie. In addition to releasing songs like Out of Touch and Remember Me, she's also collaborated with Privé Revaux on a sunglasses collection. Creating new shades was a great idea, since the future couldn't look brighter for this star. While Dove didn't exactly leave a glowing review about her relationship with Ryan, he has his own accusations about their past. When talking about a difficult time in his life via his Instagram stories, Ryan revealed that his fiance cheated on him and left him. Although Dove didn't respond to the accusation directly, she did share a quote via Twitter about toxic people. Clearly, Ryan and Dove didn't exactly end on good terms, but they've both moved on. Okay, I thought you'd be a bit more supportive. I have been so now, Ryan's in a relationship with actress Samantha Feckety and seems to be doing well with his career. In addition to shows like Midnight, Texas, and Freakish, he's also taken to the stage. He's been on Broadway as Hans in Frozen, Fierro in Wicked, and Jason Dean in Heathers, just to name a few of his productions. Regardless of what really happened between Dove and Ryan, he says he's proud about how he was able to move on from their messy breakup. It certainly hasn't hurt his career since, in addition to acting, he's also showing off his musical talent. Joey Bragg played the part of Joey Rooney on Live and Maddie. Well, the bathroom floor is so clean that you can lick it. And his acting career also helped him meet his girlfriend, Audrey Whitby. The two met while he was doing a sketch for Awesomeness TV and was dressed in his underpants and a cape. It may not have been the most conventional start of a romance, but it worked for them. And they've been inseparable ever since. They've been together since 2013 and now share a home. Not only do they live together, they work together on Sid's Not Dead. Joey claims that seeing Audrey in action on set reminds him of how talented and amazing she is and reminds him of why they fell in love in the first place. It's safe to say Joey's love life is going well, and so is his professional life. Since Livin' Maddie, he's been on Betch, Hacking High School, and has been cast in the ABC comedy My Village. He also enjoys performing as a stand-up comedian and spending time with his girlfriend. Saying that Tenzing Norgay Trainer has grown up since his time as Parker Rooney on Live and Maddie is a bit of an understatement. The show was his big break, and he's been keeping busy since it ended. But show choir is an easy A, and this scientist needs one class he can coast in. Tenzing is currently single, which isn't surprising considering that he was one of the youngest cast members. Since then, he's appeared in Night Squad, The Stranded, and voiced Jin in the movie Abominable. He's also letting fans access his talent via the website Cameo, where they can request custom messages from Tenzing. According to Jessica Marie Garcia, she considers her Liv and Maddie co-stars more than just friends. They're her family. Hey, Joey. <laughs> hey, beautiful. So it just made sense for the creators of the show to be there to officiate the wedding of Willow, we mean Jessica, and her husband. His name is Adam, and he popped the question in 2016, and two years later, they tied the knot. Yes, even though Jessica is known for playing teenagers, she's actually an adult married woman. Thanks to her time on Livin' Maddie, she says she considers herself a Disney princess, but she's found happiness in her non-royal roles as well. This star has had no shortage of work since the show ended. She appeared in Betch, How to Get Away with Murder, Diary of a Future President, and On My Block. In the past, Jessica admitted to feeling like the sole brown girl in Wisconsin, but now she enjoys being part of more diverse casts. Working with a mostly female crew on Diary of a Future President made her feel freer and like she had more room to be creative. 
This Livin' Maddie star may be a teenager, but she's definitely a busy one. Lauren Lindsay Donzis was known for her role as Ruby. Love it, but uh, not the right time. But since the show wrapped up, she's had no shortage of work. She was on No Good Nick, the show 101 Dalmatians, and even appeared on The Young and the Restless. This star is also getting ready to take on a major role in NBC's Punky Brewster. She'll play the part of Punky's fashionable teenage daughter, Hannah, and will work with Soleil Moon Fry from the original show. Between Lauren's super busy schedule and young age, it's no surprise that she's currently single. It turns out that Holden Dippeldorf is living a real-life love story that started way before his time on Livin' Maddie. Do you maybe want to not awkwardly share a meal as friends? When he was 13 years old, he met Ellie Woods at theater camp, and the two of them quickly became best friends. They stayed close over the years, and in 2017, their platonic relationship turned romantic. For a long time, his career kept them apart but they were committed to making their long-distance love work out. In 2019, Jordan popped the question at her parents' beach house in Birmingham, Alabama, where they grew up. According to Jordan, their friendship provided a solid foundation for their relationship, and he believes he's found his soulmate. He hopes to get married in July 2020 and looks forward to starting a family with Ellie. In addition to making it work with his best friend, Jordan has been keeping busy career-wise. He was in Archibald's next big thing, She-Ra and the Princess of Power, and to all the boys, P.S., I still love you. While Victoria Morales was portraying Andy on Liv and Maddie, she was also known for her role as Hayden Romero on Teen Wolf. Although she has a strong presence on social media, she tends to stay quiet about her romantic life. If dating Holden makes you happy, then go for it. However, she was kind enough to share her quarantine song along with her partner Jordan Wilson. Not only can she act, but she can play guitar too. Back in 2018, Jordan wished his love a happy birthday on Instagram and thanked her for not getting too annoyed with him. Apparently, they aren't annoying each other too much during quarantine and are much more focused on making beautiful music together. Following the success of Liv and Maddie, Victoria said that she would love to get into the world of film and try her hand at directing. But for now, fans can see her in front of the camera on Here and Now, Down a Dark Hall, and Killer Date. You might recognize Miranda May as Lacey on Liv and Maddie, but if you don't, we can't blame you. Miranda has definitely changed since her time on the show, and she's gotten really into working out and staying healthy. This star isn't shy about sharing her workouts with her fans, but if she's dating anyone, she's definitely staying quiet about it. Miranda is seemingly single, but that doesn't mean she isn't keeping herself busy. Miranda has been involved with the show Bunked as Lou Hawkhauser. Appreciate the effort, but dial it back just a scooch. And has talked about starting her own fashion line someday in the future. If you miss seeing Miranda on TV, you can always get a custom message from her on Cameo. Even before he took on the role of Artie Smalls, Jimmy Bellinger already had an extensive acting resume. But while he's happy to chat about his career, he's much more subdued when it comes to talking about his love life. In fact, it takes a careful examination of his Instagram to see that he's even in a relationship. However, he appears to be dating photographer Liz Spargo, who wished him a happy one year anniversary in December 2019. More recently, he shared a picture of them indulging in some sheet masks, so it seems like things are going well. Clearly, the couple who pampers together stays together. Your lord of leaping is here. <laughs> Since his time on Livin' Maddie, he's been on shows like Betch and The Middle, and is working on A Comedy of Horrors Volume 1. Even though it's been years since he portrayed Artie Smalls, he's using his Livin' Maddie fame to draw attention to an important cause. He's promoting an initiative by the Rays Foundation to collect masks and mouth shields for first responders and care packages for low-income families. Actress Kali Rocha portrayed the mother of the Rooney children on Liv and Maddie, as well as the school's vice principal. I am a rock on these purple pantyhose. In real life, this mom has two kids of her own and has been happily married to her husband, sound engineer Michael Krikorkian, since 2006. Kali loves acting almost as much as she loves being a mom to her kids. She's been acting since 1993 when she took to the stage for the play In the Summer House and made her cinematic debut in 1996's The Crucible. Since her time on Liv and Maddie, she's appeared on Harvey Girls Forever and the show Man with a Plan. Although she's a talented actress, she admits that she has a passion for comedic roles and loves to make audiences laugh. Liv and Maddie was her first time on a show intended for children, and she was surprised by its popularity. She even had the opportunity to pen a few of the episodes, but says that acting, not writing, is her true passion in life. 
Benjamin King played Pete Rooney, Liv and Maddie's father and Maddie's basketball coach. Nice shot. But now it's prime time's turn. This actor was married long before Liv and Maddie was even a thing. He's been married to his wife, Laura King, since way back in 2004. And even after all this time, they're still crazy about each other. When he wished his wife a happy birthday on Instagram, he called her a dream come true and said he's thankful for her every day. Not only is Benjamin a husband, but he's also a father of two daughters. He admits that parenting is a tough job, but says it's made easier through the support of his wife, Laura. Clearly, Benjamin has been out of the dating game for quite some time, but he's been busy since Liv and Maddie ended. He portrayed Charles Kemp on the show Better Things, Carter Campley on The Middle of X. Benjamin is also working on the movie Shriver as Jack Blunt. Even though he's still acting, Benjamin believes that his purpose in life is to be a good father to his two girls. Which of these Liv and Maddie stars do you hope to see more from in the future? Are you hoping for a cast reunion? Make sure to share your comments with us in the comments section below. Click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications for more videos from us here at The Things. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.